Hi everyone, uh, in this video we'll see method reference in Java. So the goal from using method reference is to replace a lambda expression in case we are using the lambda expression to just refer to a method, right? So if you are using a lambda expression to just refer to a method, you actually can just replace the whole lambda expression with the method reference. And we actually have three types of method reference that we will see right now. Okay, so the first uh, type of method reference is what we call reference to a static method. So let's say, okay, so the first thing I need to show you is this example functional interface that have this method uh, method. It's a functional interface, so we can use uh, a lambda expression. So the first thing I want to do is to create a static method. Uh, let's return nothing, let's call it hi. Uh, this method simply print to the console hi, right? So now I can uh, use the example, the functional interface example, and we can use it uh, using a lambda expression. And in this lambda expression, I'm just gonna simply call the hi uh, method, right? So I'm using the lambda expression to call this hi uh, method. So if I execute this, so let's say example.method, I should get hi. Okay, there we go, it works. Now, we actually, as I said, the goal for method reference is to replace uh, a lambda expression in case we are using it to only call a method. So we can actually write this in another way. Let's uh, use example. This time it's example one. And this time, instead of using lambda expression, we just can, we just use uh, the method reference using the container class in this syntax and the static method. So the class is main. So we write main. We add this and we call the static method, which name is high, right? So if now I use example one dot method, it will work the same way. Let's see. Good, it works as same way as the lambda. So this is the difference. Instead of using the lambda expression, we use the method reference. Now let's see the second type of method reference and this time using an instance of method. So instead of having a static method, we can just create a new instance of the class. So I will delete this. I will make this method uh, non-static. And what I will do, the first thing is to create a new instance of the main method. And we will do the same example as the last time. And no, not animal, but example, <laughs> sorry. Uh, example, example, example. And we will use a lambda expression to simply call the main dot high. So it will just call main dot high. So now, as I said, we can use, instead of the syntax, we can use uh, what we call method reference, the second type. So let me first test this uh, this example, and if I execute, it should work. All right, it works. Now let's use the method reference. Let's call this example one, and the same way as we did, but this time we won't call. We will take this instance that we created. So main and the same syntax, hi. And it will work the same way. Uh, method. Method. Uh, there, there we go. go. So let's, let's execute uh, the class and it should work right. There we go. It works just fine. And this is the second type. So the last type I want to show you is reference to a constructor. So actually we can use, we can also refer to a constructor and I will use the main class. 
So let me just create a constructor for this class and public main and this constructor return high from constructor 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 there we go okay so now uh, let's use this okay so as we did before example example another time let's show the example with lambda expression or let's just use method reference directly so example example and as i said we use this syntax the class name and the new keyword so we just use the class name which is main our double points and the new keywords so now if i use example dot method what should it do it should execute the constructor which is higher from constructor so let's let's try it and it works high from constructor so this is the three types of method reference that we have and now uh, before ending the video let's see a real use case example that we will be using a lot in some real java project and it's the for each example so let's create a list it's a string list let's call it the list and the arrays as list and let's give it some value ABC okay so we have this list uh, with two value and we'll be using the for each so I want to use the for each to print all the element of the list so I can just do for each and I will write a lambda expression so the lambda expression will take a text and it will print it using system out print ln. It will print this text, and it will work uh, pretty good. Great, it printed the, the two element of the list. But now, as I said before, we can use method reference because we are using this lambda expression to just call this print uh, method. So we don't actually have to write all of this lambda expression. We can just use method reference. And how do we do that? A list for each. And instead of writing the lambda expression, we use the syntax that we saw earlier, which is system out print ln. No, uh, I did a mistake. Print ln. There we go. This is how we use uh, the method reference in a real case example. So if we execute, it should work uh, pretty good. There we go. So it worked for the lambda expression and it worked for the method reference. So we can just, instead of writing the whole lambda expression, we can just use uh, the method reference. So this is for the method reference. And thank you for watching.